Okay, and we're back. So the next step of our day to assignment is that we will configure DNS zones. Okay, so wait for the server manager to boot up. So again, we have to check if we have a new IP address and the new name. Okay, so we check host name. Good, our, chain, our name has been changed to NS. And we type ipconfig slash all. And our IP now is static. And our DNS is 127001. Now, if we check if we are still connected to the internet, yes, we are connected. And we can ping any website we want. Notice that we have a problem. We can ping by an IP address, but we cannot ping by a domain. Now, this is because of our DNS server that has changed. So that will be our next task, is to configure our DNS server. This one. So, so far we have done all of those, except for this one. So let's focus our attention on the final task. It's basic DNS server configuration, okay? Trivia. If you want an ultra fast DNS, make sure that you use 1111 as your primary DNS or 888 as a secondary DNS, okay? If you want a porn free DNS, use 208, that's 67, that 222, that 123, and it's partner of 208, that's 67, that 220, that 123, okay? But let's go for the faster DNS, which is this one. Okay, so to configure that, we just go to Tools, go to DNS, double-click on Name Server, right-click, go to Properties, go to Forwarders, we have to add this. So type the world's fastest DNS. Good job. And our second fastest DNS add it and up kindly remove this one for reasons to be explained in class apply and OK done so we go back here and try the test IP config flash DNS to make sure we're clean and try to ping any website and now we are connected. So the question is, why are companies, okay? Why are companies looking for professionals with DNS skills? Hundreds of jobs requiring administrators, engineers, even network specialist all looking for skills in DNS why do companies require on top of everything else DNS skills I'll tell you in a second so we we'll just minimize this one DNS is used in everything for example do you have Gmail Yes. So for your Gmail to work, you need smtp.gmail.com. SMTP allows you to send your Gmail accounts. To download emails, you need pop.gmail.com. Okay? To get interactive or better emails 
you need imap.gmail.com got it and in order to use google you need to use ns.google.com and obviously everyone needs a website www.gmail.com so how do we create those dns entries okay so to summarize minimum dns skills to get employed got it so you need a um, domain it's called a zone you need to host four alias and one MX record okay so let's create that one to better understand so let's begin you go to DNS tools DNS double click forward lookup zone reverse lookup zone so the very first thing you have to do is create a zone. You can use any name you want, but something easy to type and remember. So like say, Riven12.com. Go next, 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 next. There's our Riven12. Good job. Now, secondly, we need the reverse lookup zone. Just type our IP address 192.168.233 just go next next and next and next okay so there's a reverse lookup zone here's our forward lookup zone so let's get started let's create our NS entry this one let's have our own NS it stands for name server ready so select new host, type NS, it's that simple. Type our RIP address, 192, sorry, 192.168.233.8. Make sure you create the pointer. And to save us a lot of headache or time, you select copy on the middle part or the FQDN. You select copy and click add host done all right next is we have to create a blank entry with just an IP address on it the reason for this is there are companies that you can ping with only a domain for example www.nba.com this points to 23 but if you ping nba.com without any www, it goes to the email server, which is 34. So we need an empty domain, guys. So add host. Good job. And these are the two hosts. Now, we create the four alias. Okay? Normally, aliases are used if you are running short of IP address so new C name our first alias is www and type in the FQDN oh no no that's not the one what I want okay so we have no choice we have to type in crap okay hold on forgot to get this one again copy it's gonna save us a lot of time anyway new alias www paste the name go next new alias smtp to send and receive uh, to send email paste one more new alias um, it's imap paste it 
And the last one is POP3 to download your emails. POP, paste it there. We go next. Okay, so we're about done. And finally, new mail exchanger. Same thing. Put it there. Okay. Now, if you're thinking, what's the reverse look of zones for? Watch this. So click on that one and press F5. Okay. See? Entries are created. Now, sir, how do we test our domain? Well, it's easy. You go here, type a special command, and it's lookup. And just type your names. For example, um, ns.rivan12.com. See? Um, www.rivan12.com. But the best way to test is we have to ping them. Ping www.rivan12.com. Good job. No, no. We'll, we'll test it in correct order. Ping the name server. Good job. Ping the domain with nothing on it. Good. We ping the web. We ping the SMTP. We ping the pop. Good job. And that's it. We will uh, learn the other settings in our class, but for now, make sure that you have your DNS completely configured and running. Okay? So, that's it. See you in the next class and enjoy the rest of the evening.